Dean Burmester, uh, before we start having a look what's in your bag, I just yep. want to ask you a more general question about equipment. Sure. Are you someone who loves new equipment, who's really excited about new releases, or are you someone who perhaps likes to take their time before putting clubs in the bag? Um, I think a bit of both. Um, I do love, obviously, a lot of the new stuff that does come out. It's exciting. You know, the companies these days come up with such great innovations and, and ways to push the boundaries. Um, so it's always exciting getting some new stuff in your bag. But um, in general, I do like to keep a bag as simple as I can for as long as I can. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's, let's have a look. So let's start with the big stick, the driver. Yeah, sure. Now in 2016, you were on top yep. of the European tour for driving distance. So yeah. this is obviously a big part of your game. Talk me through what you like in a driver and about the M6. Well, yeah, the M6 is great because it's just really forgiving. Again, you know, with a twist face, um, it cuts the shape down. And mm -hmm. anybody who has a decent ball speed um, knows that the twist face, you know, really, really helps with your miss. Um, so that's the biggest thing for me. And then obviously, you know, with the speed injected face now, they, they're able to really push the limit and, and um, marry a driver right up for you, you know, and, and get it on, on the perfect spec just for you. So that's great. And then obviously, you know, I've been using the tensile wrench for a while. Um, I have been this year trying a couple of other shafts, but I've gone back to it. Um, I use it And this has transitioned year. from your previous driver. Yeah. So, so I assume you're playing an M3 or M4 the year before. Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's the same shaft. So is exactly. it, that must be nice to have some familiarity in your, in, in your driver. Oh, exactly right. I, I was with the M3 um, before this. Uh, it was 10 grams lighter, the shaft. So this one's actually 10 grams heavier, but it just marries up with the M6 head. Just a lot better so um, it's pretty much the same thing um, and the kick points exactly the same so it's quite nice as you say to have something familiar and, and the launch is great um, if we go back to 2016 I, I drove it pretty good maybe I should go back and use that driver <laughs> <I don't. laughs> all right let's move down to your to your irons so we're playing a nine down to a four all the same uh, yeah, wedge to four iron, um, yeah. all the same uh, Z785s. Let's have a look at one. There we go. Yeah, perfect. I find it, it's really nice high launching that doesn't spin too much for me because I generate quite a lot of spin. Yeah. Um, and w as with these heads, Shrixen have done an amazing job with, with being able to give you kind of a blade look mm. with the forgiveness of a semi blade. So yeah. it's really, really nice. I think a lot of guys you'll see move to these yeah. um, in the near future just because of how it performs and, and how forgiving it is, especially in the long irons. Um, okay, putter. Cool. Yep. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, this is, this is interesting because this is the money maker, isn't it? <laughs> it um, is, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've got a Scotty Cameron and uh, I've actually had this putter for quite a while. <laughs> I, I change every now and again, but mm. I seem to be going back to it. So mm. um, it's sticking in the bag for now. And I've recently moved to the flat cat. It just basically the only reason I moved to it was to kind of take my hands out of it a little bit more. Yep and make it a little more stable, use the shoulders. So um, yeah, it was nice to put it on. And first week, uh, I played the tournament back home, first week with it on and, and finished third. So it's kind of stuck there. Absolutely. Right, now the bit I'm most excited about <laughs> showing everyone at home is yeah. what else is in your bag? Uh, well, because Jan, your caddy, has been showing us some yeah. rather interesting devices. Uh, perhaps perhaps the most sort of normal one, if we, yeah. <laughs> we can start with that, is your yeah. headphones. Yeah, uh, headphones because you, how, how important is kind of music when you play, listening to, listening oh. to some, some tunes, I assume? Yeah, or maybe exactly. some podcasts? Yeah, mostly tunes. Um, these are world class. Yeah. These uh, Jabra Elite Sports, sports stay wireless in your ears headphones. Yeah, they stay in your ears. Yeah. So, you know, they come in a little charger like that. Nice. I know that you've also got yeah. some, some snacks in here, which are going to be really important. Yeah, we've got some nuts. There we go. Um, so, I, I yeah. tend to get these after I made a string of birdies for some, re some reason. Almost <laughs> so, like yeah, a dog. Go. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you go. Good, good feed for you, so yeah, it's quite yeah. cool. Yeah. This, I mean, it, this joke, is a magic aside, bag. This is probably a lifesaver. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. We're, Talk us through what's in here. Well, obviously her pencils. Yeah. And uh, in here are about 100 Dara lights. There you go. Loads of plasters. Loads of plasters, yeah. Um, yeah, it's basically got everything in this tiny little bag. It's amazing. Dean, that's an amazing insight into, uh, into what's in your bag. And maybe at home, you might just carry around some nuts, carry around some plasters, or even some Dara lights. <laughs>